You know, these tears that Patrice is shedding here, to me, they're just tears of a clump. I mean, here's a grown man. Here's a man that has four stars as a general who controlled the war in Afghanistan and Iraq. And who now became the head of the Central Intelligence Agency. And let me stung in some stupidness like this. I, I, you know, look, I'm no big intelligence man. I'm not in them organization. I don't have the experience he has and so forth. I gotta get him credit for that. But I'm not gonna put nothing in no email that's gonna catch me down the road. Now, I have email experiences. I sent my email, uh, assignments to a professor and he got something else and I did send him. And he gave me an F, uh, charging plagiarism. Now, the whole point with whoever did it, they were hoping that I would fight the guy or threaten the guy or make a scene on campus. But no, I, 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 I couldn't understand what was happening, but I'm trying to figure out like, what happened because I know I sent him my assignments. Even in my email, I said, this is as far as I could have gotten. Oh, I'm going to send him this perfect working um, assignment. Then in Oakland, I met this woman. And she tells me that, uh, oh, she got a stepmom living in Iraq. And, um, you know, it's Iran. And she wants uh, a, a friend for her. So the only way I'd be able to communicate with her is through email. No, listen to what would happen. Maybe she got no family, no Iraq, Iran. Somebody right in California or in Washington up there that's going to be purporting to be this person. And when I send my innocent email, I you see a nice lady, I'd like to see you and this and that. They're going to put in some terrorist message. And she obviously is sending terrorist messages, but I won't be getting those. I'll be getting my oh, sweet, you so lovely and everything like that. And when they generate enough um, terrorist kind of like indications, they just run and lock me up. Okay? Um, I know that on the phone, nobody can call me up and say, hey, remember that thing we talked about? Man, I want to talk to you about that again, man. What do you think about this and that? No, man, I don't want I talk to you about nothing. I don't want to talk to you about anything, bro. And you don't get me upset, man. Anything you want to talk to me about anything that you think is important, you come and see me in person, bro. And when you come, you go to the beach, you got to take off all his clothes. Okay? I ain't playing like that. I'm looking through his ears, looking through his eyes to see if he got something that's running something stuck in it that you know, try to get me into some stuff. I'm only trying to talk about serious stuff that I might have talked about. I'm doubting it like crazy, and I'm getting upset, and I'm going to search him further. Okay? And I'm saying, look, man, the conversation's over. Okay? Let's write it now, okay? I make sure I burn up all the papers that we think and mix it up with the sand, throw it over the ocean. You know, you just got to be so careful, okay? Now, he's working in the CIA, and he don't know what could happen. And I mean, on the other hand, what kind of counterintelligence they have, what kind of um, reconnaissance program they have with these people, you know what I mean? Or maybe they didn't tell us everything, maybe something like that. So what was happening, and then they just follow, follow through something to make it official or whatever. But it would be sad to know that he was going on with all the stuff that nobody knew. Okay? They're supposed to be watching him. Uh, just like Spitzer. Spitzer has secret service. Uh, I mean, you know, New York um, people, you know, protecting him. Uh, he's trying to sneak away from them to go and liaison with some woman. Or going next door or whatever. I mean, tell the brothers, man, listen, bro. Uh, you know, the wife back home, she, she's got me putting on my, my, um, knee pads and, and it's got to get me on my knee and all that stuff, man. I, I need to be like, you know, whatever. Alright? So, I got this lady coming over. Don't worry about her, man. She's good. Okay? If you want, you can go and she's going to search her. But everything will be good, okay? Alright? Or find some other way to do your stuff, but he figured you were slick. And so, um, me with these two women, I mean, how, how did they know of each other and all that kind of stuff? This man got to be sure help and, and, and get caught up in this kind of stuff. And, and what I understand is that he's talking about, like, yeah, that bull pop we did the other day, that was so good. You must do that again. I mean, you just can't implicate yourself like that. I have no discussions on the email. Straight up business. You know, things that if anybody hear about it or see it, everything will be good. All right? So, um, the question is, when I saw Patria's face, you know, I have this ability of knowing trivial people. And I see this guy as a being trivial, man. I was just wondering, like, how he got so far, and, you know, and so on. Well, sometimes when you're trivial, you get a lot. You get far, because that's the whole role. You got to be trivial. The enemy going to set you with some stuff to destroy a country, make you uh, treasonous, and everything will be good. And nobody can come to me with that. Man, if you want to overthrow something, don't worry me, bro. 
or don't regret me, no nothing, or make me look stupid, I'm not stupid, and you're not going to make me stupid, I don't need your help, I don't want your money, you just leave me alone. Like a rich old man is living in Toronto, Canada, I call up a certain organization, call it the Antichrist organization, and I say, I'm doing this here, then, are you new? You need money? You need a, uh, when, when you say, yeah, I need money, and I'm new, they're going to send you an advisor. And that advisor is going to be telling you what you got to do, especially when they tie you for that money and they see sex you or whatever. You know, I, I don't want to part of that. Okay, I want to be free. I want to be saying things the way they are and how I see it. I don't want to be influenced by no people. It's not necessarily that they have a different opinion. It's just that they think that their false idea must be accepted and become official and that I should be working for them and subjugate my true perception and, and follow their line so as to get their agenda done. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so they're like trivial men to put them in those positions. And so there was another guy working for the Homeland Security out in Virginia. He hooked up with some person he thought was some little teenage, some young and underage girl. And while he's talking to the phone sex stuff, they just knock on his door and arrest him. I mean, what kind of thing is that? I mean, don't people think again, you know? And then some people are saying, oh, email, you don't have no privacy. Hello, hello, you can't have privacy like that. Man, if you put in cameras all in your house, okay, in your bedroom. So when you talk about privacy, he's supposed to know about um, no privacy, all right? And it's not going to change. There will always be some way of doing stuff. So when you're in your house, you got to behave yourself. You got to, I mean, what, what else can I do, all right? I'm doing what I'm doing in my place, and if they see it, so what? You know, that's what you have to say. You can't say, oh boy, that thing on this mind me or whatever. And you have to find a way to deal with it. Like, I was in my house. I was doing what I feel like doing in my place. I wasn't with no government time or no government secret, so just leave me alone. Okay? That's why you got to deal with that. So, these tears that he's shedding, uh, I don't know, I'm study that. He got this Broadway girl out in the field somewhere up in Afghanistan or in Iraq. He walking and, and she got his mic in his face. I'm talking, I mean, what kind, what kind of leadership skills this guy has? What kind of intelligence this guy has? I mean, you know what I mean? Do well, you want to be president or something? I mean, okay, we have having all these threats, so we need a general, you know? Um, yeah, we need, like, oh, we had Clark. Clark was coming up there. So we need Patrice to solve these problems or to make us feel strong again. No, he's going to make us lose our, our weight. 